and welcome back to Body Beautiful. With us today, we have plastic surgeon, Dr. Joseph Mealy. We're talking tummy tucks. And if you want to give us a call, the doctor will be answering questions you might have. The phone number, it's a new one, 415-561-8753. We'll also be posting the phone number to the doctor's office uh, during the segment. So, you know, be sure to write that down. And we have our disclaimer. Every show, you need a second opinion. Even though this doctor is totally qualified and amazing, you always want a second opinion. Okay. Well, it's good to get a second opinion because sometimes you'll get a totally different way to take care of the problem. And if that way makes more sense, it's going to be an easier transition for you. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and go to the phone lines. We have Recoila from uh, Antioch on the line. Good morning, Recoila. Yes, hi. Hi. Do you have a question for the doctor? Yes, I do. I have a question for the doctor. I want to ask him, um, is it the more um, fat you have, is it the more fat you have around your stomach, um, does that make the procedure cost more or should you lose weight hmm. first? consider the procedure. Sure, no, I think the losing weight is probably more important for getting a good result. Uh, the procedures, usually the cost has to do with the time, so there are some times when I'm having to do a lot more removal and actually I want to close everything very, very carefully and that does take a little longer, so it does cost a little more. Uh, but the main thing is to get a good result. If there's a lot of extra fat there, it may be more difficult for me to really smooth things out. And the type of fat that's most important is the fat that's behind the muscle. Because with a tummy tuck, we're working in front of the muscle to tighten that muscle and remove the fat that's in front of the muscle. But the stuff that's behind the muscle is kind of like you've got too much stuff in your suitcase and you're trying to close it. I can't quite tighten up that muscle fascia as much as I want to. Yeah, uh -huh. and working out is always a good idea anyway. It seems to be a good idea. Yeah. It helps us live longer and healthier and happier. Okay. Thanks for coil up. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to Lisa from Belmont. Good morning, Lisa. Hi, good morning. Hi. Good morning, good morning doctor. I've had uh, several children, and I've had the last of the C-section. Yes. My question for you is, what is the best operation for me? I work out, but three times a week, I'm you know, thin, I'm healthy. I have to just pouch in the middle of my stomach. It's not going to go away. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, you're probably right. Uh, after having children, when the muscle and the skin gets stretched out, it'll recoil to a certain extent. And at that point, it kind of stops. So if it's been more than a year, it's probably not going to shrink up more. If you're done having children, which is always a good thing to do before having a tummy tuck, uh, then it's time to consider maybe maybe doing the procedure. It's certainly worth getting information about. Uh, if you've had a C-section, normally where I put the incision for a tummy tuck is below that. So the C-section scar is removed. That will not interfere with what we do for the procedure at all. Okay. A hey, question for you, doctor. I mean, do, do, do women tend to, if they've had a C-section, have more slackening of the muscles as opposed to uh, natural Some, childbirth? Sometimes, yeah. But, but sometimes that doesn't just affect natural childbirth is enough to really stretch things okay. out. I think it depends on how the, the child sits. It seems to be a bigger problem with the second pregnancy than the first. Mm -hmm. uh, but the C-sections, I think part of the reason C-sections make it more apparent is that scar it acts as a point of fixation and mm -hmm. it, it fixes the skin to the abdomen so that when there's loose skin it falls over right at that spot. It is the loosening of the, the muscles in the skin a function also of age? Say if you've had the baby later on in life sure. as opposed to uh, you know earlier? Yeah, I mean, no, I always think of a certain supermodel who had twins and was on the Sports Illustrated calendar several months later. Oh, when you're young, yeah. you <laughs> shrink better. Uh, yeah. And if we had a way to turn that back on as we got older, it would probably eliminate a lot of the things I need to do. And yet, I Ironically, there are plenty of uh, young, uh, very fit uh, women that sure. after childbirth for whatever reason, I mean, sure. it's genetics well, yeah, or whatever. Supermodels are not normal people yeah. anyway, but, well, uh, right. but yeah, it depends on the genetics. And I've had some patients with one child who really have a lot of damage from it. Okay. But, uh, I, I can, I'm kind of curious, can you combine, uh, say, the tummy tuck with another procedure and, and, and get even better results? Sure, and a lot of times with, with women after pregnancy, they're also worried about the breast uh, in particular, because uh, those two get larger with pregnancy with breastfeeding, and the skin, again, may not shrink. If it does, it's usually not as big a problem. All right, if you want to avoid surgery altogether, are, are there alternatives that give you mm, similar results? Uh, there are, but nothing as dramatic as surgery. Uh, you know, if things, if things are going to shrink, they're going to do it on their own. And I, I'm not a strong believer in that, in that liposuction causes shrinking. Even laser liposuction, ultrasonic, mm -hmm. radio frequency, whatever you add, it may shrink it a little bit, but not noticeably. Uh, so they can prove on scientific research that you know, the skin shrinks a little bit. But if you were to do laser liposuction on one half and tumescent liposuction on the other, you can't tell which side is which. So a huge difference. With a tummy tuck, you're really talking about you, 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 you're 
reducing muscle, you're, you're tightening muscle, and then also skin, you're getting rid of excess right. skin. Right, and things like liposuction really don't do anything with the skin or the, or the muscle. You have to depend on the elasticity and the recoil of the skin. All right. Uh, the muscle's not cut, though. It is, it's repaired. It's just brought together, sort of folded on itself, and it's sort of like putting a corset inside uh -huh. uh, so it holds it together. Okay, well, that, uh, that uh, demystifies a lot. For more information about Dr. Mealy, you can call him at 925-943-6353 or check him out on the web at drmealy.com and also on sanfranciscobreast.com. We'll continue talking with Dr. Mealy about tummy tucks. Plus, we'll take more of your phone calls coming up on Body Beautiful.